Hi, this is Hillary. And Anna Maria. Reporting under the marquee on our first impressions of Zootopia. It was really good. Um, the characters were great. They did great villains. It's a buddy cop show, which is something that I really didn't expect to see in a kid's movie with animals. And I really thought they handled the theme well, too. Anyway, I'm going to hand it over to you. Absolutely loved it. <laughs> was really surprised. It was There was so much more story than I was expecting. I can't wait to get back home and talk to you about it. I loved it. <laughs>Since the time she was a little bunny, Judy Hopps has wanted to be a police officer. And despite great odds, she graduates top of her class from the police academy and gets assigned to her dream job, precinct number one in Zootopia. But the big city falls short of her expectations, especially when she's assigned to parking duty. Being a meter maid doesn't exactly fit into her career plans. What's a bunny to do when no one will take her seriously? She puts her future on the line when a rash of disappearances hit Zootopia, and she tells Mrs. Otter that she will find her missing husband. The police chief seizes the opportunity to get Judy off his force. He gives her 48 hours to solve the case or hightail it back to her carrot patch. But Judy's not about to let that happen, even if she has to hustle the biggest hustler in the city to get him to help her, Foxy Nick Wilde. I'll start with what I liked, all because right. there's a lot I liked about this movie. The characters all really work well. I loved Judy and Nick because they learned from each other as the story mm -hmm. went on. The villains were great. They had perfect motives for everything they did. Um, and one of the things, one of several things I really liked was the theme was maybe a touch heavy handed. But because they made the theme personal to yeah. the characters, it didn't feel that way. And I also, it, it never hurts to hear fear used as a tool to gain political power <laughs> yeah. as a theme. Yeah. But it sounds particularly important now. And finally, the world building was great. I loved the world building. Zootopia was just marvelous in in all its diversity. Okay, so what I liked about it, um, the look of the film was absolutely fantastic. They went to every little detail to create this animal world. I mean, the gates into the city had animal details for design elements, like they had um, kudu or it was Elan type horns at the, mm -hmm. you know, as a decorative item. Love the commuter train with the three different sized, you know, doors, you know, mm -hmm. so they had tall for giraffes and medium sized animals. And then these little itty bitty doors for the rodents. It was just wonderful. The lemmings bank was <laughs> wonderful. Was so funny. The humor mm. was top notch in it. It had both humor and heart, which gets me every time. Um, mm -hmm. Wonderful characters. Uh, love the backstory for... Um, uh, Nick Wilde, mm -hmm. the Fox character. And Judy too. Well, Judy they both too. Had great yeah, backstories. yeah. But I didn't, I didn't foresee Nick's backstory, so that was quite no. a nice surprise. And just it, the the story kept twisting and turning, and just kept me, you know, guessing, mm -hmm. and and it was just a wonderful plot. And yeah. you know, they took the time to make the story strong. Yeah. And I really appreciated that. And that was in fact the final thing that I liked about it that I was trying to remember. It has this really smart, intricate mystery yeah. that they pack a whole bunch of into yeah. a fairly small time slot. It was a really good mystery. It was. And you don't see that a lot in children's films. No, no. Yeah, it kept me kept me guessing. So top rate. Okay, I went first with likes. What, if anything, did you dislike? Um, I got a little worried at one point. Um, the story's about all these animals that disappear, and so that's what the mystery centers on. And one of the characters you find was attacked by one of the, the animals that has now disappeared, and he has all these claw marks on him. So then I began thinking, was it something like rabies that these animals are contracting and and passing on to one another, and, that, and I st that felt dark to me, and so I was really worried that the story was going to develop that way.
But it turned out that they did not go down that, that route and it quite fooled me. So, so ultimately it ended up being good, but for a moment there I was worried. Yeah, and I thought, I wondered the same thing, but it turns out that it's a really good red herring yeah. for the mystery, so, so I actually almost count that as a plus. Yeah, I know. It was, yeah. Yeah. It was uh, actually fairly smart <laughs> to do that. <laughs> it was. So it's not really much of a negative. It's just at that moment, I started, it took me out of the movie for a moment because I started uh -huh. worrying. So that's why I count it as a very small negative. Okay. So. There really isn't anything that I have a problem with in this movie. There is one thing that I'll talk about when we come to the, the tickets section, okay. but there's really nothing wrong with this movie. It's great. It's great. <laughs> so what did you think for age level? I've been wondering about that. Again, the plot is smart enough. I think I'm going to call it five and up. Yeah. Yeah, because it really is a very smart, intricate, twisty plot. And there's some things that might be scary and a little scary for little kids. Yeah. Um, but it's five through 105. It's, <laughs> it's a really good movie. Yeah. Um, it's great for adults, great for older kids. Um, you know your kid. If your five-year-old is scared, then don't take them. Um, mm. There was one kid in the audience who was scared and was about that age. He thought it was a scary movie. Uh, <laughs> in fact, he turned around and accusingly and looked at his mom and went, it was scary! Yeah. yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, the, but the, the details of the mystery, I think, calls for an old, older audience. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to give it four and a half tickets. It, it was a really close five tickets for me, but um, I have a very high standard on some animated films for five tickets, so it mm -hmm. just missed it um, for that. But, oh my God, was it good. I, I'm exactly well, the same place. I would see this movie multiple times, you know, just mm -hmm. to enjoy the world building and everything else. And so for me, that definitely takes it over the four ticket mark. Um, almost a five. <laughs> yeah, I'm exactly there. I, in fact, if we could do four and three quarters yeah. tickets. We're not going into three quarters. Because there's yeah. nothing wrong with it, and there's a ton yeah. of stuff that's wonderful. The only reason for me it is a, is it a five, it, it has a lot of good emotional moments, mm -hmm. and the size of the emotional moments fit the story, but they're relatively small emotional moments. It's not a story... Okay, the the musical number in Frozen where Elsa is singing Let It Go. Oh, yeah. yeah. It doesn't have any moment like that yeah. in it that really takes it over the top. Yeah. But it's not that kind of a story and that kind of moment wouldn't belong in it. So it was it was a really good story about characters, you know, living their dreams and being true to themselves. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm, and living their lives and, and, and learning accepting, from each other. Yeah, learning from each other and accepting other um, people. People. And yeah. I, I mean, it's a very thin line between that and, and, and races, but it was, it was yeah. you know. Oh, it's cool. all about yeah. race. They just yeah. did it with animals, but it yeah. really worked. Oh, it did. Because they made it personal. So, yeah. highly, highly, highly recommended. Not quite a five, but so close. Oh, so close. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was great. And that's our review of Zootopia. Um, leave us a comment on our YouTube's channel, subscribe. And we'll see you at the movies. <laughs>